right, so the PS4 just came out with a Slim, and there's the PS4 Pro and the PS Slim, PS4 Slim. The idea is very simple. There's a lot of people have been saying that, you know, the newer ideas are sort of similar to each other, and they're not really too much different, like similar specs versus, like, the original PS4. And I mean, and that's sort of fine, because, you know, if you look at the PS3, PS2, even when Sony came out with their new brands, it was still the same thing for the, for, well, sort of the same thing. You know, the way I look at it, you know, I mean, it, it really all I care about is the cost and the failure rate, and essentially what's on the PS4 that I'm able to do. I mean, is there going to be a lot of games in Sony's library, including Japanese-only releases for me? You know, absolutely. I mean, you know, Sony's a company that, you know, they always seem to have, like, all the advertisements and all that, and they usually have a lot of games on their console, so the way I usually look at it, you know, I think, hey, the more the merrier, but at the same time, though, you know, what are some of the things that they plan on doing with it though we never know sony's been well known for usually adding more stuff or maybe even downgrading stuff you know later down the line they're not as bad as microsoft where they'll say that they're gonna do something and then they never do it but at the same time they do so it's like you know it's really like it's kind of hard to really tell like 100 percent what the ps4 is going to like the slim and all that what it's really going to be able to do, you know, how much better, how much smaller is it really going to be, you know, sure we have some knowledge of it, but really, until people start buying it and start testing it, it's really going to beg the question, what really are we going to be seeing out of it, though, the reality of it.